All right, we've learned about inputs. Next step, uh, processing. So let's continue where we left off previously. And we learned about using the input function. What I want to do is model out now one step at a time very clearly the input processing output model. So input uh, uh, values, and then uh, let's number this. Step one. Step two, process inputs. Output results. All right, so I copied this in memory. Uh, feel free to pause the video here and copy these in one at a time if you'd like to. But basically I'm collecting nine inputs here. So I'm asking for a list of three people. What is the name of the first person? What is the age of the first person? What is the height of the first person? And then I'm gonna do that for two more people. That's the inputting the values part. Then the processing I'm gonna do is calculate an average age and an average height. And then I wanna print out the entire table of data with the average age and average height to the, to the user. So for the processing step, we're just gonna fill in these blanks right here. Let's calculate name, age, and height real quick and see if we've got this working. So, whoops, let me go right here. Uh, we got Homer. Uh, the age of the first person, I think he's 38. I have no idea. Uh, what is the height? We're gonna say 6.1. Marge, uh, 38, 5.5. Bart, 10. Let's see, I have no idea, 3.5, okay. So we've got our inputs collected. Assuming those values are now stored in all of these, what processing do we wanna to do to print out the results? Well, it depends on what it is that we want. Now I just said a moment ago that we want an average age and an average height. All right, no problem, let's do that. So we're gonna create a new variable called average age, except I don't wanna capitalize it. And what's the formula for an average? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's grab age one, plus age two, plus age three. Let's divide that by three. Average height. Okay, and then divide that by three. All right, those are the only new values we're wanting to create based on the inputs. So processing is done. All we have to do now is output the results. And on the surface, this looks pretty simple and straightforward. We only have two lines needed for processing, but in practice, usually the processing is our longest step where we spend a lot of time and effort uh, doing something with the data that we get, we're cleaning it. Uh, and in fact, that reminds me, if we're going to process these results, we're gonna have to do something with this, uh, with these inputs that you might remember from the last video, let me show you. So uh, I'm gonna run this one more time here and say Homer 38, 6.1, Marge 38, 5.5, Bart 10, and 3.5. And watch, whoops, watch what happens. Unsupported operand type. Now we're gonna learn more later about how to do debugging and use these uh, the information they give us here about errors. But you can take a look at this and probably guess, see if you can remember from the last video, why we got this error. All right, let's take a look at the clue it's given us. Unsupported, op well, what's an operand? Operand means plus, minus, divide, multiply. Unsupported operand type means whatever operand we're using is not valid. valid. So it says uh, unsupported operand type for this right here, which is the divide symbol. And it's on this line right here. Okay. It thinks that we can't divide age plus age plus age divided by three. Well, why not? Think about it from the last video, the last section. What type of data is in age one, age two, and age three? Not sure. Let's find out. Come right here and let's print out type. If you remember that function from the previous one, Age one, let's just print out that one. So I'm gonna run this, Homer 38.1. I gotta go through this each time, unfortunately. Whoops, I meant to do, th oh, well, you know what, that's fine. It'll still illustrate the point. Or 10, 
Okay, I got my error again, but before I got it, it used that print command right here, class string. Age one is string. It had no problem using the plus sign here on a string, but what does the plus sign mean when you're working with a string? It means concatenate. So basically, average age is equal to one big number of 38.5.510. And then it's trying to divide that, thinking that's all a string by three. Well, yeah, you can't divide a string. You can add, but it just interprets it as concatenate, but we can't do anything else. So maybe you remember now, we have to actually cast age into uh, uh, an integer data type. So we can do that in a couple places. We could do it right here. One we're processing, we could wrap an int right around this. I, I kind of like to see my pro keep my processing steps as simple as possible because that's often where I do a lot of my debugging. So to keep that clean, I'd rather go ahead and do that on my when I input the data in the first place. So right here, I'm going to wrap around input like we did in the last video. I'm going to wrap int around that and then close it at the end. Height is going to be a float. So I'll, whoops, float. Close it off at the end, and I'm just going to copy this. Oh, I closed the wrong one. No, I didn't. Here we go. Close that. I'll just go ahead and close everything at once. So I'm closing age and height at once, and then I'm casting all heights to floats and all ages to ints. So I should see two parentheses back here on this end for each age and height. Only one for the name. Perfect. Let's try that one more time, make sure everything seems to work. Homer, 38, 6.1. Marge, 38, 5.5. .5. Bart, 10, 3.5. Awesome. Everything seemed to work. Nothing got printed out because I haven't finished this step of outputting the results. However, uh, it seemed to perform the processing just fine. So let's stop this video here and then move on to output.